Dear friends of Paloti, the Paloti Institute at Mysuru would like to offer a short presentation on St. Vincent Paloti's devotion to the precious blood of Jesus Christ through this video episode. The devotion to the precious blood of Jesus Christ traces its proliferation to the 13th century. St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Juliana were some of the holy persons who devoted themselves to the diffusion of this devotion prompted by their spiritual experiences. The Catholic Church in St. Vincent Paloti witnessed yet another saint during the 19th century who highlighted both the spiritual depth and theological tenacity of this devotion. Going through the writings of St. Vincent Paloti, we realize that among the many devotions he cultivated, his devotion to the precious blood of Christ deserves a special mention. Most of his prayers and reflections find some references to the precious blood of Christ. Vincent wanted that the members of his pious society promote this devotion among the faithful. He himself did it by inviting the faithful to take membership in the association that already existed in Rome for the spread of this devotion at the church of St. Nicola of Carcere. Vincent was deeply engrossed in a constant reflection on the precious blood of Jesus Christ. He believed that Jesus, by shedding his blood on the cross, manifested the deepest sense of divine love for human beings. This divine love should be experiential to all. Precious blood of Christ cleanses us from our sins so that nothing, nothing may prevent us from experiencing God's love. In 1835, Vincent appealed to the people of Rome to join him in establishing the pious society to make the mission of Christ more effective in the church. In his appeal, he said, whoever wishes to collaborate with the pious society should engage himself or herself to spread faith in Christ, to increase piety and to bear abundant fruits of the precious blood of Jesus Christ all over the world. Thus, they may bear the fruits of the redemption, to know and adore the most holy name of Christ. Vincent deeply desired to be closely united with Christ in his passion, especially by contemplating on the precious blood of Christ. He recommended all members also have the same devotion and be purified by the precious blood of Christ for more effective missionary work. The emblem that he designed for the society depicted the picture of Christ crucified and his wounds which pour out the precious blood for all the souls in the world. Propagation of Christian faith in mission land was his constant concern. He made every effort to motivate the faithful as well as to reach the spiritual and material support for those missionaries in distant countries. Without such missionary efforts, he realized that millions of persons would perish in darkness without knowing Christ. Paloti asks a pertinent question. Was not the precious of blood of Christ shed for these unfortunate people also? It was to promote the missionary endeavors that he desired to establish a college for foreign missions so that those clergy who wish to work in mission land may get trained and inspired to work zealously for the salvation of souls redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. He said, every good Catholic should pray for the missionaries working in the mission land. He recommended 
that his spiritual children need to offer themselves to the precious blood of Christ to obtain the perfection God has granted us. He desired that his foundations may become an effective means in the world to multiply virtues and graces. Blasphemy was one of the horrendous evils that were prevalent during his time. He offered others and himself to the precious blood of Christ to obtain necessary graces to fight against this evil. He used to pray as, Heavenly Father, we offer you the precious blood of Christ in exchange for our innumerable sins, for the needs of the church, for the liberation of souls from purgatory, for the blasphemy uttered by several people and for removing the heresies. Vincent offered his society to the precious blood of Jesus Christ which will obtain the necessary graces so that reparation may be done for all the humiliation and insults meted out to the infinite love of God. Let us deeply desire to have an ardent devotion to the precious blood of Jesus so that we may be forgiven of our sins and that we may love Christ more dearly. Thus, we may become zealous missionaries to spread the message of love and peace in the world. Thank you.